when you come back, that your kids are now dying in their deathbed. The things you care about that are motivating you to go near the black hole in the first place, because I don't know what you do. Really... It is what you do. It is. It is. What I do. Well, <gasps> we're featuring my interview with Chris Nolan. Mm -hmm. And, uh, of course, we talked about just his... Clock. The clock never stops. We never turn around and go back. We can never accidentally go the wrong direction in time. It's always pushing us forward. And yet we sort of imagine it almost spatially. We almost imagine it like a dimension. But I can't look forward in that dimension the way I can look left. And I can't turn around and look back in that dimension. ...where those neut spinning neutron stars are. Oh. We call them pulsars. When Star Talk returns, we'll learn about matter and energy, which relativity says distorts the fabric of space and more interesting than the planets themselves. Uh, the moon Io and Europa and, and all of these moons have volcanoes and some of them have atmospheres and lakes of methane. And so you're right, we're no longer restricted to planets. Excellent. So, so the, the uh, uh, Dynamo, do you, do you want to take this? No, no, please. I'm, I'm digging your head. Okay. <laughs> so if you can, if you, in a rotating system, you can send up, you can create electrical currents inside.